starting at the 102nd verse, going to the 115. And I answered and said, If I have found favor in your sight, show further to me your servant, whether on the day of judgment the righteous will be able to intercede for the ungodly, or to entreat the most high for them, fathers for sons, sons for parents, brothers for brothers, relatives for their kinsmen or friends for those who are most dear. He answered me and said, Since you have found favor in my sight, I will show you this also. The day of judgment is decisive and displays all the seals of truth. Just as now a father does not send his son, or a son his father, or a master his servant, or a friend his dearest friend, to be ill, or to sleep, or eat, or be healed, instead so no one shall ever pray for another on that day neither shall anyone lay a burden upon another for then everyone shall bear his own righteousness or unrighteousness and i answered and said how then do we find that the first abraham prayed for the people of sodom and moses for our fathers who sinned in the desert and Yahshua after him for Israel in the days of Achan, and Samuel in the days of Saul, and David for the plague, and Solomon for those in the sanctuary, and Eliah for those who received the rain, and for the one who was dead, that he might live, and Hezekiah for the people in the days of Sennacherib, and many others prayed for many. If therefore the righteous have prayed for the ungodly now, when corruption has increased and unrighteousness has multiplied, why will it not be so then as well? He answered me and said, This present world is not the end. The full glory does not abide in it. Therefore those who were strong prayed for the weak. But the day of judgment will be the end of this age and the beginning immortal age to come, in which corruption has passed away, the sinful indulgence has come to an end, unbelief has been cut off, and righteousness shall increase, and truth has appeared. Therefore, no one will be able to have mercy on him who has been condemned in the judgment, or to harm him who is victorious. Peace be unto you, brothers and sisters. Peace be unto you. This is Elder Youngman, your brother DL, and the name of tonight's message is Nothing is the Same. Nothing is the Same.